Enjoying a day at the lake or pool is a summertime staple. And while safety is stressed when swimming in the water, how we enter the water isn't talked about as much. Meteorologist Blake Hansen is here with more on that. Hey, Blake. Yeah, good morning, Emily and Meredith. Diving headfirst into the water can lead to serious injury, primarily focused on the spinal cord. I talked to two frontline workers who have dealt with patients of diving accidents and how you can stay safe this summer. The key is, is always go in feet first. As summer weather picks up, so does our time on the water. Mary Freebed Rehabilitation of Grand Rapids is stressing one point of safety that occurs on all bodies of water, even a swimming pool, diving. The, the main message we want to send is don't dive head first. Um, the other message is this is a team effort. You got to encourage your family, um, your friends, um, and anybody who you meet that um, on, on the water um, or around a pool, um, to not dive head first. Diving is the fifth leading cause of spinal cord injuries. It's easy to understand why. The damage to the spinal cord uh, happens when the vertebra or the bones in the spine kind of collapse and compress the nerves that are coming down from your brain. That's how you move, that's how you feel. So um, when you hit the bottom of the pool, um, it's your full body weight. And uh, people enter the pool at about 15 uh, feet per second. Um, that's fast. So the forces are incredible when you hit the bottom of a, a lake or a pool. The impacts from a diving accident can be life altering forever. Just that one second thought can change your life and also your family's life because it changes everything in your world. I've seen a lot of diving accidents that probably could have been, um, could have been uh, avoided by people diving in feet first instead of diving in head first. These injuries require a lot of support. Um, oftentimes 24 hour support. And so um, that takes a, a big toll on families. While fun on the water is unavoidable, a diving accident is avoidable. The key is, is always go in feet first. Um, uh, check the depth of the water. Um, if you are considering diving, go in feet first and make sure it's plenty deep um, and you know what's going on. But really there's no safe dive into, into a lake or a shallow pool. Ideal advice to keep you safe this summer. And while all can be impacted, it's important to note that 76% of diving injuries occur to those under 29 years old. Another reminder, encourage family and friends to avoid diving head first.